His Excellency, the former Portuguese Minister of Interior and Minister of Defense, Mr. Nuno Teixeira, have visited Kuwait in efforts to strengthen cultural, economic, and political ties between the two countries. The former Minister and current Dean of the College of Political Science and International Relations at the New University of Lisbon have described some of the details of his visit during our interview with him. Well, it's a very important date and uh, uh, what I would like to do is to join my voice to those who have already congratulated the Hamir uh, Sheikh Sabah and the Kuwaitian people for this award. This means the recognition of the international community uh, and at, at the highest level, I remember it was the Secretary General of the United Nations, Ban Ki-moon, who gave the award. So, but it, 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 it is the, the recognition of the international community of the role, the humanitarian role of Kuwait across the world in many projects bilaterally and even at the level of multilateral organizations. So what I would like to say is congratulations. It was the response to a very kind invitation of Mr. Aukaf. And it's my great pleasure to, to visit Kuwait. Regarding the objectives, I, I would say that there are two main objectives. The first one is academic. And I had the opportunity to meet with the academic uh, authorities here in Kuwait, with the rector and vice rector and professors at the University of Kuwait, trying to identify uh, common interests, areas of possible future cooperation between the University of Kuwait and my university, which is Nova de Lisboa, and Nova Lisbon, and the institute where I belong, which is the Portuguese Institute of International Relations. So it, it, it was the first step, but I hope it become a, a, a becomes a, a, a good relationship and a future cooperation. Well, uh, Kuwaitian foreign policy is, is very well uh, known. I mean, um, you know, usually people think that only the, the great powers have uh, a, 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 an international role to play. And, and it's not true. It's really not true. Small and medium powers can also play a role and sometimes a relevant role. I can give you the example of Kuwait. Uh, as you know, uh, Middle East is a geopolitical uh, critical zone because everything that happens in the Middle East have immediate repercussion at the global level. I mean, regional security has an impact on international and global security. And in this area, in the Middle East, uh, the f Kuwaitian foreign policy has always been uh, a foreign policy based on uh, dialogue, based on cooperation, based on uh, humanitarian aid, and also uh, oriented to, um, I would say, diplomatic mediation, uh, a, a conflict resolution. And, this is the case in many crises in in Middle East where foreign pol Kuwaitian foreign policy succeed, and it's still the main orientation at the at the, the Security Council of the United Nations. So that's true. Uh, Kuwaitian foreign policy plays an important role. Well, the Republic of Portugal. <laughs> uh, well, Portugal and Kuwait have a, a, a very good relationship. Uh, if you look at the political level, there is no conflict, there is no tension, there is no even no problem. So that, that means that it's an excellent diplomatic relation between Portugal and Kuwait. And based on this diplomatic relation, what I think personally is that Based on this diplomatic and excellent diplomatic relation, Portugal and Kuwait can and should enhance other areas of cooperation. I think, first of all, uh, 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 economic relations. There are uh, interests in both sides, Portugal and Kuwait, but more than interests, there are uh, mutual opportunities in both sides. I mean, 
for instance, some Portuguese companies that have uh, 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 that are competitive and have knowledge. Uh, they can be useful in the uh, 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 Kuwaitian economy. But also, on the Kuwaitian side, there are investors that can have opportunities in Portugal, so to enhance economic uh, uh, relations, but also, I think, cultural relations. If you look back uh, uh, in the history, in eight, 1984, uh, I think, Portugal and Kuwait signed a, a, a cultural agreement concerning language and culture. And as far as I know, uh, since that moment on, nothing happened in terms of implementation of this, of this agreement. So I think it's time for both countries to know better each other and this enhancement of cultural relations would be, would be important. I'm sure that the authorities in both countries, Portugal and Kuwait, are aware of the situation and they will work on this, on this, on this sense. Everything is important and based on this excellent political relation, we can develop different areas that are of common interest. I mentioned two, but econ economy and culture. But it can, be, it can have other areas. The most important is that both countries are good friends and based on this friendship, they can develop, they can reinforce their bilateral relations. Well, what I, what I can say is that I, I'm enjoying very much this, this, this first visit and I hope it is not the last. So I hope to come soon to Kuwait again. On the behalf of Kuwait Television, we would like to thank His Excellency, the former minister, Mr. Nuno Teixeira, for giving us this interview about his current visit to the state of Kuwait. This was Ahir Abedi reporting for Kuwait Television.